Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to the Evil Within. The game threw us into the save safe room here, at kind of in the middle of a chapter, without even walking through a mirror. And so I don't know what why it would have done that. We were about to jump down a hole, Are you all right? and now I'm waking up on the ground. He needs to ask, like, what happened? Don't need to worry about me. It's like they didn't want to animate him jumping down this hole, or now it becomes the story has changed. Like, now this guy's turning into a zombie, and maybe I'm turning into a zombie, maybe everybody's turning into a zombie. Who knows? And we're in the church basement, ever so slightly different from the hospital basement. Stop wiggling. Now I can't burn these, or if I can burn them, they're, they're not populating. Seems like bodies are just being shipped and transported. It really is just a different skin. Like, creepy basement to a hospital, creepy basement to a church. Just a different skin on the same narrow hallways. Hmm. See, the, the problem here with telling a story like this is pretty much from the word go, you knew it wasn't real. Like, like the, you, you can tell it's, it's pretty much a fiction. Uh, let's see. So there's nine, three, seven, three, five, nine, seven, and I think the idea would be to interact with these things and like five. So if I remove three, how can I remove three without just shooting it or without doing this? Hmm. I've got to find the one point spot where these things work. Hmm. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me. Should it? So hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier. Hmm. It seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars. And the safe way to him will be open. Hmm. This feels like the dumbest puzzle ever. I mean, it feels really, really dumb. I heard something. The other thought is, I it feels like you might be able to just walk through here, but I guess not because it magically just goes through a wall, 
and it magically just comes through from a wall. Hmm. A safe way to who? All the silly bad guys of RE4 are sorely missed here. There was no less than at least four or five cheesy enemies that had terrible lines of dialogue. And with that gone, this is left to be pure horror style game with no story in it. Notice how the camera zoomed out there. Uh, if I, if I was wrong, I imagine the camera would have would have stayed at that point, and and I would have died. So more of another one of these situations where I could have instantly died and had to uh, try again. That is certainly a creepy elevator. Hmm. A rather simple puzzle. I think we could do with slightly more challenge and then if you fail once or twice get the game should give you a hint and do you some favors then. Uh, are we getting to the point where it's genetic manipulation and magic? Is that going to be the explanation they try to throw out as a red herring? That this is all real and all these monsters are created by something? Hmm. Cemetery lab note is it had to have been God's will that these two orphans survived. They were baptized and given medicine. Now Nune and his brother Zian quickly recovered, but just as quickly did their aberration progress. Of course, they are twins, but for some reason, their growth patterns exhibit identical values. Were those the two giant creatures I just fought? Is, is the game explaining uh, how they got so big? 12 hours of dirt serum is administered. Uh, they are growing really fast. Body temperature elevation, pain in lower extremities evidence. 24 hours after it, they've grown 3 inches in 24 hours. Vital signs stabilized, sleeping in short intervals. Uh, 36 hours after the serum. Uh, semi-conscious speaking to imaginary persons uh, 48 hours after serum administer grown a lot agitated administered sedative hmm so I, I just don't know like I don't know why you would have bothered to to show or explain those two monstrous things yeah, or try to try to even explain any of this now Resident Evil tried to explain it certainly but uh, kind of to its own downfall there's a serum I can't even pick up I meant max health uh, Now Ari had the revolver, which was a a ma or magnum gun uh, that was very powerful. In a tight corridor like this, I would prefer to have something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and this looks like this is possibly a way that you could go backwards. 
and fight him again. Every month, offerings are brought above ground to the stone sarcophagus. The owner calls the altar two bodies, four bodies, three bodies, five bodies, four bodies, seven bodies, six bodies. Is that a combination lock? Uh, the church guard dog has begun to change. Just like the twins, the aberration is progressing. It devoured six bodies today, and it already howls for more. It has begun to stress its bars and chains in its fervor. I don't dare take my eyes away from the animal. It may think I am another offering. Hmm. So if that's the case, let's be a little bit more prepared. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like this guy is very strong. It is a dog. A much bigger dog than the zombie dogs or whatever they were in RE4. Hmm. And it's been shot with spikes and tied down. And it's still probably in a risky position but I bet the elevator goes up and lets uh, lets it free at that point so I'm gonna reduce my weapon dealing potential my damage dealing potential as I walk around suppose I could do this I don't like the idea of switching back and forth between light and darkness. I prefer if the game just forced me into darkness and then the lighting in the game accounted for that. Um, and I guess one of us has to stand here. Let's not leave him behind. I do believe that freed him. Can you get it open? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, a lot of scenes here were just kind of jumping from point A to point B. And it's missing some sections. Alright. You come this way. Follow me. Follow, follow, follow. Darn it. Hmm. Since this is a crossbow bolt gun, I suppose it doesn't. Uh. It, I'm never really in a situation where I need to release the stress. I can't, I can't see him. I'm not sure if I'm looking in the right direction at all. Hmm. Wow, he's shaking them off. Um. Let's have some melee on you. And see, he looks like he's dead now. And then the game just jumps again. I don't get it. Why is the game all of a sudden starting to jump? Like, I can't even enjoy the game because it's taking control away from me. 
Am I gonna get the green goo? Apparently not. Apparently he didn't die. What is it? He looked dead to me. I dropped my glasses back there. Fuck. You seriously are going back for glasses? Did I kill it before or didn't I? Sebastian, I'll draw it away so you can search. Like search what? Glasses are right there. Like I know I'm playing on easy. And maybe on normal mode this is more of a challenge. But this really is nothing. Hmm. Like I can go ahead and use a stim pack. Darn it. Let's keep running up to it and smashing it. I thought there might be something there. Interesting. This guy doesn't even see me. I think there might be a pickup or something somewhere around here. Nope. Seven thousand green goo. And sure I used a lot of stim packs and and bullets for that, but really wasn't something to miss. And at this point I, I would kinda hope I could run around and pick up some things like if I missed with some arrows some of these bushes are solid items some of these bushes aren't so there's two electric bolt arrows return to me this section it's nothing. Sure seems like something. Hmm. And there's no more green goo. And we didn't see any statues with keys, right? Nope. This is just a little too simple. Hmm. Sorry. It's not just about being unable to see. It's about feeling normal. It's all right. Hmm. Let's focus on finding Kidman. Like, that was weird. That was weird to go back and get glasses in this situation. Hmm. I don't have any shotgun shells right now, so I might as well equip this gun. And 
We'll load up our sniper rifle. Hmm. There's nothing over here to pick up besides my miss shot arrow. Hmm. You'd think there'd be statues with keys. You'd think there'd be statues all over the place. And it'll just be weird to be in a boss fight after that boss fight. Even if that was an easy boss fight. It would also be kind of weird to be in a group fight. It would also be kind of weird to be in a puzzle fight. Everything moves so quickly in this game. Anything that happens just doesn't feel like it has enough falling action in between it and the previous action or rising action. Hmm. There's too many of these for this to make sense that I would need to shoot out the stained glass. If you look over here, you can see some basic areas. Huh. Hmm. What's the matter? We should head for the church. Yep, here we go. Can't even walk through the door. I don't get this at all. Why? Why it's taking control away so much? Save the game. We've hit this. We've we've filled up our save slots, so for that instance, I guess I'll keep one of each chapter and start overwriting them. Uh, and we'll see how that works. And we're to chapter seven of twelve chapters, but some of these chapters could be rather short. Chapter seven, the keeper. Like, chapter 6 could have been really, really short with a fully upgraded weapon and running away from half of the enemies. Like, getting that 5 hour, beat the game in 5 hour achievement seems very doable on the second playthrough. The only thing that would confuse me is if it turns out there is no new game plus and you can't upgrade all your weapons and play a second time. And that would be very, very disappointing because then this game is so different from the previous Resident Evil games that uh, I'm not sure I'd particularly like it. That sounded close. Uh, hmm. Like a lot of the reason why I'm even playing The Evil Within. Uh, or why I would choose to play the Resident the Evil Within is because of my nostalgia for Resident Evil. If it's actually not that close to Resident Evil, you might be better just hey, skipping it. You still with me? Hmm. Let's see, here's a statue. Seems kind of deformed. And... Seems like it's been pushed back to reveal a secret entrance or grate. Another map fragment found. See, the funny thing was we were about to enter a church area and that's where we found Kidman. And she was drowning in the trap. And I thought we were going to be fighting this guy. And now, a couple hours later, we've entered a second church area. We're about to find Kidman again. And I think we might be about to fight this guy. <laughs> like, it seems like the story is repeating itself. And then I see that a lot in games. Probably just from bad writing or from slight disagreements on where the story should go uh, so perhaps the idea is 
one person has an idea that the story should move in one direction, another person has a different idea, and instead of picking one and only doing one, they seem to uh, sometimes do both. Hmm. Hmm. I don't get this. I guess maybe I'm supposed to talk to him. Yeah. Sebastian. If you ever had the urge to just jump. Hmm. When you're on a high place. Hmm. Or the subway rolls by. Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight. Hmm. And two minutes. now Joseph you're learning to stop it you're not listening mm. I'm not worried about stopping it Seth I'm worried about not wanting to stop it mm. some part of me wants to turn I don't know why and I can't reason it away hmm So, I'm not sure if the twins we saw were really those two big guys, or if the twins are Ryuk merged together. And we're back into one of these scenarios where the world is just completely changing. If we hadn't seen this section and the section before, you might believe what's actually happening is real, but... Like... Clearly it isn't. Clearly, either the main character is hallucinating or crazy or something else is going on. Something extraordinary, supernatural uh, in the, the literal definition of the word supernatural above nature. Um, So once again, we get split up with our partner, which is fine because he wasn't really doing anything other being, than being a hindrance. It's questionable ever if we ever get into a, a situation where we really need to do a lot of stealth, or if we're just gonna get back with Leslie and Kidman. It's a little weird that you'd have two partners. Again, these animals don't seem like you can kill them. Um, let's turn this on. That'll work. Alright, if that breaks... Was there any more of those hidden? I could certainly use some shotgun shells. This is the, we're past the halfway point in the game and they're introducing urns as something that you can break and get items out of. It's way too late to be, to add something like that. Hmm. Let's just make sure we... Like, there's a bunch of other things on the tables you can break, but I doubt there's anything in them. RE4, there, there may have been an instance or two where there was something on the table. Hmm. Uh, 
there is something on the table, but I don't think it's worth your time to try and shoot or break all of these in the thoughts that there is thought that there's one bullet or maybe a few bullets. Let's see, going up here seems like that'll be the trigger. Hmm. Uh, that mini game's still a little too fast for me. I'll go ahead and use the syringe. I can hear some zombie breathing. Tapping the A button a lot. Hmm. So what did we do in this 30 minutes? We fought a dog, we fought giant twins, we had a lot of the game taken out of our control, we saved multiple, multiple times, it felt like. But breaking up gameplay into 30 minute chunks, particularly for a game like this, not a great experience. Uh, of course, this game is making it even worse by breaking up its own gameplay in odd chunks. It's it's the exact opposite of a smooth transition from one level to the other. It's a hard break. This is a chapter. You did a chapter. This is a point where we want you to save, so you're going back to the save room. This is a point where we want to show you a cutscene, so... We're going to take control away immediately. Even a smooth fading to black and then fading back out and having the character talk like a movie would work a lot better. Uh, this There seems to definitely be some obsession in creating this game to make it look like a horror movie. Thus, when you're in the pause screen, you get the film scratches that you wouldn't see on any modern uh, film unless it was added digitally. And the bars at the top and bottom, even when the game is being played at a 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, but if with the obsession of making it look like a game, uh, like a horror movie, it only feels storyline like a really bad horror movie. Like some of the worst. Uh too many characters, too many characters that aren't on screen, too many locations. Uh, if this was a movie and you had to shoot on this many sets and build this many sets, it would go bankrupt probably before it even launched. Uh, well, anyways, I won't go on ranting about the problems of this game because we have more game to play in the next recording. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.